What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now before we jump into this buyer's guide, the first thing that I want to get out of the way is that the mowers that you are going to find at the Home Depot and Lowe's are no different than the mowers that you can get at the dealership. There is this big misconception that these mowers are made in a different factory and they're made for the big box stores, so on and so forth, and that is just simply not the truth. Whether these mowers are sitting here at the big box stores or if they're at the dealership, they come from the exact same factory. For instance, right here, I'm sitting on this Z320R. This is one that I have done a full walk around and overview of that you can go check out. But as you can see right here, this is the exact same mower that I had gotten from one of our dealerships to do that walk around as I am sitting on right here in front of the Home Depot. So that is the first thing that we want to get out of the way. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about whenever we are looking into this buying process, or really the first step, is trying to figure out which model of mower best fits us. To do that, we need to know what models each of these stores carry, and we would think that the Home Depot and Lowe's both are going to carry the exact same mowers, but this is not the truth. So each one of these corporations has a contract with John Deere and only carries certain models. So since we're here at the Home Depot, we'll go ahead and talk about those models first. The first ones that we're gonna see are going to be your tractor style mowers like we see over there. And these are going to be the S100 series mowers only, but not all of them. So specifically what we're going to have is the S100 with a 42 inch deck, the S S120 with a 42 inch deck, the S140 with a 48 inch deck, the S160 with a 48 inch deck, and then the S180 with the 48 inch deck. Then also you are going to have options in the Z-Track like you see that I'm sitting on here. So you are going to have that Z315E with a 42 inch deck. And we're also gonna have the option of the Z325E with either the 48 inch deck or the 54 inch deck option. You are gonna have the Z320R with the 42 inch deck the Z330R with the 48 or 54 inch deck, and then the Z515E with either the 54 inch deck or the 60 inch deck. And now that we've talked about the Home Depot mowers, let's go ahead and hop on over to Lowe's and see what they've got as well. Now here at Lowe's is gonna be close to the same thing. So what we're going to have is the S100 series, starting with the S100 with a 42 inch deck, the S110 with a 42 inch deck, the S130 with a 42 inch deck, S140 with a 48 inch deck, then moving up to the S170 with a 48 inch deck, and then ending with the S180 with the 54 inch deck. Now, when we move to the zero turn mowers, we are going to have those Z3s and Z5s. So what we're going to have is the Z315E with a 42 inch deck, the Z325E with either the 48 or 54 inch deck. Then we're gonna have the Z320M with a 42 inch deck, the Z330M with either the 48 or 54 inch deck. Then when we move to the Z5s, we're gonna have a Z515E with a 54 inch deck or a 60 inch deck. And then rounding that out with a Z530M with either the 54 inch or 60 inch deck. And now that you know which models Lowe's and Home Depot both have now, we can start to do that research and looking into which exact one is going to fit our operation. That is where you can go and look at the plethora of videos that are on our channel here that's gonna have videos of walk arounds, product reviews, and then also videos over different types of attachments and how to put those on your mowers. So make sure to check those out along with our other channel, 24 seven parts. Now, the next step in this process, once we have our mower picked out is looking at attachments and attachment bundles. So Lowe's and Home Depot both are gonna do a great job at keeping the different attachments for your mowers, whether we're talking bagging kits, mulching kits, snow plow bundles, all of those different things. So make sure that you are looking into that before you finalize your purchase. Now, the fourth step in this process is going to be the actual purchasing of this product. Now, you can do this one of two ways. That's going to be either here at one of the stores or we can also do this online. So whenever we are in the online platform, we can go and search up these mowers, buy that model number, see where these mowers are at, and then be able to order that, set up delivery, set up to have those mowers brought directly to you or set this up to be able to pick these up in store. Now online, this is very easily gonna show you where these mowers are located. 
whether that store has them in stock or if you may have to pick this up at a different location. But if you are here at one of the stores, all you have to do is go inside, speak to an associate, get to a register, and they have all of that information there in their computer system where they can pull that up and tell you just how long it would take to be able to get one of those mowers here. So now we're to the part that everybody just absolutely loves. When we get to that final purchase destination, we are ready to make that purchase and then we get hit with the taxes. Just like on every other purchase that you make, a lawn mower is going to have tax on it. Now, depending on your state, some states may allow lawn mowers to go untaxable with a farm tax card. But here in Oklahoma, for instance, lawn mowers are not considered farm use, even if we are using them out on the farm. So whenever you get to the taxes part of this, make sure that you're checking with your local state with those different laws to see how your mower is classified. Now, once we get to this part, we have this all figured out. We have our model, we have our price, we have our taxes figured out. Any attachments that we're gonna add, the next step is, are we paying for this in full price or are we looking at finance options? Because the good thing is whether we're looking at the Home Depot or Lowe's, you are going to have finance options. Both of these big box stores are going to have in-house credit cards that are going to have finance options available for these mowers. So make sure to check those out if you're not looking to drop the full price on this mower at that time of purchase. So now we've made it this far into our purchase and the next step that you are going to get to choose from is if you want to add a protection plan to your mower. Both of these stores, Lowe's and the Home Depot are going to offer protection plans. Uh, here at Lowe's, these are going to be protection plans through Assurant and then at the Home Depot, this is going to be a protection plan through Allstate. Now I'm not gonna get into the specifics, but you can definitely go to each one of the Home Depot or Lowe's website and check these out just to see what all is covered under that protection plan but i can't tell you that it's going to give you some good options there for service also for replacement parts if we have any issues that are going to go outside the realm of the factory warranty that you're going to get on your machine and that is another big topic whether you're buying from the dealership or you're buying from lowe's or the home depot you are still going to get that factory warranty from John Deere. So for instance, here on the S100, you are still going to get that two year, 100 hour warranty. Whenever we move up to the Z3s, you are going to get that three year, 200 hour warranty and the Z5s is going to have that four year, 300 hour warranty. So you are going to get that on top of the option of having to add that protection plan from Lowe's or the Home Depot. Now, the last thing that we need to consider here is going to be the service after the sale. So what I'm talking about is if we're needing any work done on this machine. Now, if you did go ahead and dabble into that protection plan, good thing is, is a lot of times there is a system set in place where you can have a technique come out to work on this machine through the claim submission process that goes along with your plan. But if you're needing to take this machine in to get worked on, what you need to keep in mind is that Lowe's and the Home Depot are not going to be a shop. They do not have a service center to work on these mowers. So you're going to need to look for an outside source. A lot of time that needs to be a local John Deere dealership to make sure that your machine is being taken care of correctly. And also so that they can honor that warranty that you have on this machine. Now, a couple of end notes here. Now that we've gone through this whole buying process through the whole guide, a couple of Brent recommendations that I would give you. For one, if we're talking about delivery, we have this mower delivered, no matter if you are getting that white glove service and you are having a full inspection of the mower done before it's brought to you, make sure that whenever it gets home to you that you are doing an inspection yourself. Make sure that you're happy with the machine. Make sure that it starts and runs as it's supposed to before your delivery person leaves. And if you do have any issues, it actually does state on both websites to go ahead and refuse that machine if you are not happy. Now, this can be one of two things. This machine can either be a return, which both of these stores are going to have return policies on lawnmowers that give you up to 30 days as long as it is unused. So keep that in mind. But what you can also do is you can do that return or you can swap this mower out for another one. But my recommendation is that if you are going in and you're looking for one of these mowers, if you have a chance to just go ahead and drive to the store, look at that machine, pick one out. Each one of these lawn mowers is going to have a specific serial number on them. So you can pick out that exact mower, tell them you want this one with this serial number so they can go ahead and ring it up 
get it in the system and get you registered for that warranty so you know what machine you're getting. But other than that, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you're looking for any John Deere parts at all, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.